Okay, so how much fuel are we going to use? We talked about the reversible situation. What about the real situation, which we're talking about now? Um, well, so there's two things. One, we've lowered the cell voltage. So the cell voltage is not the equilibrium voltage anymore. We're now down at 0.7 volts. It means we're going to need more fuel for the same amount of electricity. So um, there, that's one factor. So V cell is less than V equilibrium. So that's issue number one. There's another issue though too, which is that in reality, it's very difficult in a real uh, fuel cell stack to use all the fuel. Sometimes you can. So in a PEM fuel cell, uh, oftentimes they'll be run in a dead-ended way where hydrogen goes in and you consume all of the hydrogen that you feed in. Uh, that can be done in some circumstances. In an SOFC, that's almost never possible because we're producing exhaust on the fuel side and you can't operate the cell in a way that all the electric all the fuel goes to zero concentration because then the Nernst equation kicks in and it causes the cell voltage to drop below the operating voltage. Um, this is again something we'll talk about in more detail as we go on. But the, the net effect is that it's impossible to use all the fuel. And the way to say that is that the, the, the consumption rate of fuel on the cell is less than the molar flow rate that we actually feed. So we feed a certain amount of fuel to the stack, we only use a percentage of it, and that's Zydot. So Zydot is the amount of fuel we're consuming, N dot fuel in the feed, that's the amount of fuel that we're feeding to the cell, to the stack, and that's not the same. Um, and that brings us to something called fuel utilization. It becomes a little more complicated when you have multiple fuels or multiple molecules that are uh, comprising the fuel feed to your stack. Um, but if, if just one fuel, then the way we would usually say this is that the stack use or the stack consumption of that fuel is equal to U times N dot of the fuel in the feed. And this U is called the utilization. And it spans the value zero to one. One meaning we use up all the fuel, zero means we don't use any of it. So the practical implication is that the fuel used by any given cell is equal to the utilization if all the cells are identical times n dot fuel divided by m. So putting that all together, we would say that the electrical work that the fuel cell produces, this is equal again to the stack voltage times stack current. This in turn is mv cell times nf times our n dot fuel divided by m on our cell times the utilization. Again, just like before, the m, the factors of m cancel. And so the electrical work is nf times v cell um, times n dot of the fuel times the utilization. So this is incorporating the fact that our cell voltage is less than the reversible voltage and it, that we're only using part of the fuel that we're feeding. So flipping this around and thinking about how much fuel we're going to use by our real system, the n dot of fuel that we're feeding, this is going to be our electrical work divided by NF V cell times the utilization, just inverting that equation. So we'd have our 20,000 joules per second. Uh, divided by 8F, we're operating at 0.7 volts. And utilization typically, like in a, in a solid oxide fuel cell, is often around 80%, sometimes 85%. 
Um, we'll talk about why you might choose different levels of utilization. Um, but let's say we put in 80% utilization. And the answer is 0.046 moles per second. So almost twice as much fuel. So that is a, a common situation. So yes, theoretically, fuel cells can or do this wonderful thing of being highly reversible and, and producing, you know, taking combustion and making it a reversible step rather than a completely irreversible step, but they don't take it all the way. We're still generating some heat and we're generating electricity. So elect we're, we're doing both usually even in a PEM, even in a solid oxygen fuel cell, it's, it's almost impossible to avoid part of the irreversible loss. And so generally speaking, we're gonna be spending, you know, you know, maybe twice as much fuel as you would calculate theoretically based just on reversible considerations. 